part 8 of Terraform with Google Cloud. In previous videos, we saw that what is simple types and what is complex types. In simple types, we saw string, numbers and booleans, whereas in complex types, we saw list, tuple and set. So in this video, we will see what is map and object. So let's start. So let's start with map and object. Map and object combines multiple values into single one. They are inside the curly braces. They are formed with key value pairs and are separated with commas or line braces. List, set and map are collection types whereas tuple and object are structural types. Map contains same type of elements, means if we want to specify 10 elements in our map, we can specify all the 10 elements, but the condition is that the type of all the elements should be same. If we enter or if we specify different type, then map will give us an error, whereas object is a collection of different types, we can specify different types of elements in object. So let's see the example for map. We have created a variable called my app and the type is map and we have specified the type which is accepted by the map is string only. So whatever value we enter or we specify in the default values should be string only. Next is description. It is an optional argument. Then we have default part in which we will add as values. So first we have added project credentials and regions so one thing is common in three which is the answer or the value here is in string only we can't add any element which is a type of number or boolean because as we know that map only accepts or is a collection of same type elements so the difference between map and list is at their usage when we use list in our main.tf file we use them with indices and when we use map we will use with the argument or we can say with the name like project credentials and region so if you want to add different types of element in this, you can use object. As we know that object is similar as tuple, so we can add different types of element in one. So as we know that in object, we can have different types of variables in one. So here we have created a variable for object and the type is object. And in that we have specified our types. With first three types are string and last type is bool. So we can combine all different types of elements in one and we can provide the default values in default part, which I have provided here, which is name, machine type, zone, and allow stopping for a bit. We can add the default values here in the default part. And last part is we can also add validation block here so validation block contains of two arguments which is condition and error message so if we specify some condition and if the condition is false then we will have an error message here means if the condition which we have specified in condition argument is false then it will give us the statement which we have specified in our error message argument now let's create an object for our vm in our variables file so let's go to the variables.tf files and create our variable there. So instead of tuple now we'll create an object. Right. So this is the variable which we have created for object. This is the name of the variable and type is object. So we have specified our types which we are going to include in our default block. So first three are string and last is boolean. Then we have description for it and last is the default block in which we will add our values. So add values accordingly. Then next part we will also add the validation block here. So the condition is saying that the VM name should be at least four characters. So we will do that using the length function. And now let's go to the main.tf file and change our variables. So now let's use our variables which we have created, right? Which is var dot pm param dot our attribute name, which is name, right? And here we will remove the indices and we will give the attribute name which we have given in our object. This is dot machine type. For zone, it is dot zone. And for this, it is allow. 
desktop for update right so we'll save the file and we'll again apply a command which is terraform plan let's see terraform plan let's wait so terraform has planned our whole infrastructure right so this is how you can create an object and you can use the object into your main.tf file so this is the end to our series and in this series we learned how to set up a project then how to create a vm how to add vpc and subnet to it how to use list tuple and set how to use objects so that's all for the video thank you and have a pleasant day ahead